Welcome to Barat. It's the next day after my hike and I thought I would take you on a bit of an explore around the city. Not for too long, but just a bit of an explore on foot around the river and the town centre, if you want to call it that. Let's get on and explore. And that is where we hiked up to yesterday, right up at the top of that hill there. And I'm sorry for the noise in the background, there's actually development work going on the river at the moment. My hotel is literally the big white building. You can see the balcony, that's my balcony. And if you watch the video to the end, you'll see my hotel room. Walking across this bridge, as I said, there is development work going on at the moment, which is a bit of a shame, but can't be helped. Not too sure how much you can see there because the sun is in that direction. We'll come around this way when the sun moved around, moves around, but yeah, this is just a little explore around Barat. And here is another view of the old town. <laughs> And if you just see along the hillside there, we've got a church that you can actually walk to. I'm not going to be doing that today. <laughs> but yeah, we walked to the top of there yesterday, just on one of the bridges, going over the river. I'll show you the river in a sec. There we have the river. Pretty full here. I think the reason why it's drained further down is because of the construction work that's going on. I'm not too sure what they are doing. If you know, please let me know in the comments. You know, there's nothing you can really do about construction noise. I would say it's probably the only thing a negative to say about the hotel and it's not the hotel's fault at the end of the day. I have to say though, the hotel is fantastic. I love my room. I love the view. The staff are really friendly. The breakfast is amazing. I highly recommend the White House and I haven't been paid to say that. So it doesn't look like you can walk down the side of the river there so I'm gonna walk up here instead. I think there's another bridge up at the top. But just look at the mountains as you saw yesterday the views around here are incredible. So I've no idea where I'm headed I'm just gonna to continue to walk down this road and hopefully it'll lead to where I think it's gonna to lead to. So yeah see we're still getting some nice views from here just going to follow this road around. Bit of a better vantage point here. You can see the bridge that we're heading towards. There's all this fisherman's out here. And this is where we've just come from. On the side here, you can see the hillside. Got a hotel here. Guess this here. What we would call like a weir. Is that what we'd call it? I don't know, but it's controlling the flow of the water. So this is where I'm walking, having to be careful. <laughs> Just been chatting to a really nice Albanian gentleman. Very broken English, but still nice to be approached by the locals and have a conversation. So this is the direction we've just walked from see the mountains in the background and this is what we hiked up yesterday and this is the other side of the bridge as you can see you know not a really crazy flowing river it's been very hot here in this part of the world and yeah the lake is definitely looking a little bit dehydrated those views are beautiful What I wasn't smart about is not bringing water, even for a short walk in this kind of temperature. Very hot and sweaty as you can see, and I'm feeling a bit dehydrated. If I was fitter, I would have done another hike today. Definitely the place to come if you want to see scenery in the mountains. One of the reasons why I came as well, I thought it would give me a bit of a mix between mountains and then the coastal side of things. So you get to see different sides of Albania. Time for a drink somewhere, I think. 
So let's get the shot on the bridge here. We'll get a little bit closer up, but that's where we were walking across earlier. So yeah, a bit of a close up of the bridge there. So in this little shaded area, just over the road, there's like a fruit and veg store. The car just bought it, sorry about that. And we just ordered a coffee and a water. Well, that has to be the cheapest coffee and water I've had. It cost me a hundred lakh. And I'll try and find out the name of the place because it was so chilled there. The hotel that I've been staying at, the White House, is just down here. It's got the perfect views of the surrounding countryside. And I love, I've loved staying here. It's been such a chilled place. So the white building you can see there with the balcony, that old balcony is mine, which really surprised me. And this is the kind of view that I have from a balcony, which you'll see in a minute or two. Looks like the construction workers are on the lunch break. Very quiet at the moment. So my hotel is there and right above it is where I walked to. <laughs> this is the old town. Right, we're gonna walk around the little main strip. We're gonna walk around the little parkland area and I'm gonna find a coffee shop to get some work done. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you around my hotel room. I just need to get a little bit of work done first. And there you can see a bit of a closer up shot of the dome building. I'm not too sure what it is, but I love the landscape behind it with all the mountains. Now, right now it seems pretty quiet, but you come out at 7 p.m. and this place is packed. And also the temperature really drops in the evening because the sun starts to set behind the hillside there. So all of this area becomes really shaded and really cool. So this is my very comfortable hotel room. As you can see, we've got doors leading onto the balcony, actually two doors. Got a big wardrobe here. And then down here, we have my kebab <laughs> and my big screen TV. Let's just spin it around and go in here. And this is my bathroom. As you can see, got a nice walk-in shower and the usual affair. So that is my little tour around my hotel here in Barat. And I've loved staying here again, not sponsored, just thought I would share the hotel. I will put the price and a link to where I booked the hotel in the description. As you can see, the sun is setting and it's incredibly busy here in the evening. It's much cooler, lots of locals are out and about. And yeah, literally these two chairs here, all of this balcony has been mine for the last couple of days and I've loved it. Oh yes, and the bridge. And the views around me. There you go. So I'm gonna leave my videos from Barat here. I hope you've enjoyed this two-part series. Sorry that I didn't do as much. Whoa, just saw the swallows flying by. Missed them on video. Uh, that, <laughs> Where was I? Oh yes, yeah, so I'm sorry that I didn't get to explore as much as I would have liked today, to be honest. I was a little bit exhausted with all of the exploring yesterday and the day before. So today, a little bit more chilled out, got a little bit of work done in the coffee shop. Now I'm gonna go to the supermarket, which I was going to do earlier today, and uh, get some food. I need to get these swallows. They're just literally flying around anywhere and waffling. Talk to you again very soon. Take care.